taking his chances, but he said at yeah. the stage, he said, what do I want to be here working for this asshole if he's going to scream at me every hey. night? You know? It's no fun. No. Yeah. Don't do it, you know? Yeah. So we're pretty speed. set? Okay. We're speeding. Okay. Okay. Mott's apple juice. I've always loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, MTV loves it when we put endorsements like that on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit more about Credence. Um, what? Uh, let's start with a different... Well, why? <laughs> why, as opposed to what? Why do you think Credence's songs were so popular? Mm, that's a hard question. Why they were so popular. Um, the, uh, from my point of view, the reason that they were popular was that um, we felt that there was this link uh, between rockabilly and rock and blues that, that hadn't really been touched upon, uh, except a little bit by the Beatles and, and the Stones, of course. But there was, a, there was one other like American element, I guess, you know more closer to uh, the Sun record sound. And um, is that correct English, more closer? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so we went after that. And I guess that if, if, if we hit the right vein, you know, maybe that's why, you know, I, that's the only thing I could say about it. What were your favorite songs, your favorite Creedence songs? My favorite Creedence songs? My, fa my very favorite one is uh, Run Through the Jungle because it combines kind of all the elements of the, the Louisiana feeling and then uh, it had a real spacey beginning and end. It's more, it wasn't synthesizer, it was guitar, but it has the kind of feeling that you could get now with the synthesizer. And uh, the, the beat was, uh, I think came from a, an old Champs record where, where you had the backbeat going, t t but in the meantime the, the hand claps were going in between, you know, and it all fit together. And um, it's just like the culmination for me of all the things that we tried to get. It was the most soulful record we made. Do you remember a favorite show? Favorite show? That would have to be uh, live at the Royal Albert Hall. It's a real special one. It's definitely. What's, uh, what's, what are your current musical activities? What are you doing? Well, right now I'm working, uh, I'm doing like three things. I'm working with my son Jeff, who's uh, um, into rock and roll, and we just completed an EP. I helped him co-produce it, and uh, he wrote and sang and played everything on it, except for one background part where he, he let me do that. And uh, so we're going to try to get him a record deal. Um, I wrote a couple of songs that I submitted to my friend Saul Zentz, who was the chairman of the board at Fantasy Records, and his last hit movie was Amadeus. You might have heard of that. <laughs> and uh, the new movie is called um, The Unbearable Lightness of Being. And around Christmas time, he gave me the book. You know, we didn't, he didn't say write the music, but after reading the book, I said, well, I think I'll write some music, and I submitted that to him. And so I'm waiting to hear about that. I did that with uh, Randy Yoda, a friend of mine from uh, California. And then the last thing I'm doing is putting together uh, a video that uh, people can go out and buy of, of that con concert at the Royal Albert Hall that I just mentioned. That was filmed both nights. It was a solid concert in uh, 1970 that's been sitting in the can all this time. We've been trying for a couple of years to get it out now, and we're getting real close. Great. Seems like it would be really easy to market. Wow, that's terrific. Your son Jeff is he uh, is he influenced by Credence? Yeah, yeah. He well, he he heard that music all the time when he was growing up, you know. So he, he's influenced by Credence. Uh, but he's he's uh, very influenced by Eddie Van Halen. He's a guitar player. He's a guitar player first, and then a singer. So when we work together, he first thing he does is just get his guitar out, turn it up, you know, and just start wailing. He plays a lot better lead guitar than I do, you know, so it's fun to work with him because I can play rhythm, he can play lead, and then we can do all these things. So. Uh, but he's, he's a very modern oriented. He, does, he doesn't try to sound like Credence, he sounds more like, uh, you know, heavy metal does now. Thanks for coming here.
Well, thank you very much for having me. Thank you.